Best guest can be seen at the New York Comedy Cellar Tuesday, October 19th, making his Tonight Show debut. Please welcome the very funny Tom Takar. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is incredible. It's so good to be here. I, uh, I've been aging rapidly. I, uh, I've been catching myself just saying old people stuff lately. I was walking down the street the other day and I just heard myself go, that post office used to be a bank. <laughs> Who cares? That's not a good story, that sucks. That's an old person's story, you know? They're always telling you stuff like that. They're like, that pizza place was a spaghetti place before, all right. <laughs> Did you like the spaghetti place? No, it just was. You have to know what was. I'm not, I'm not that old yet. I'll know I'm really old when I have an, a loud clock in my house. Old people always have the loudest clocks. You stay with an old person, their clock is like, bing bong, ding dong, ding dong, bing bong, 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 bong. And they're always like, I had trouble sleeping last night. Like, yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> See? I, uh, I'm from Indiana. I live in New York, but uh, my family refuses to visit me here, my friends, because they're all scared of New York. They think it's too dangerous, which is crazy, because Indiana is the most dangerous place I've ever been. <laughs> When I was a kid, our main form of entertainment was a trampoline that didn't have the guard net thing around it. Those are like little kid death traps. Every kid hobbles away like, uh, we lost Jeremy back there, and now I'm different now. My brother broke his leg on our trampoline immediately because he did that thing where he was like, I'm gonna go as high as I can on a new trampoline. And then he did, and then he started to float away from the trampoline. You know that moment where you see somebody suspended in the air and you're like, oh no, we're about to hear a new noise. That's, <laughs> that's gonna be crazy. But uh, my brother broke his leg and then he made me, we, couldn't, we didn't wanna tell my mom what happened because we didn't wanna lose the trampoline. So he made me drag him into the house and then when my mom got home, we told her that my uncle broke my brother's leg. Because <laughs> we were more willing to lose him than a bouncy tarp, so. I, uh, I got banned on Twitter last year, this is true, because I got uh, super into this show called My Cat From Hell. I don't know if you guys have seen it, it's the best show, it's on Animal Planet, it's like the dog whisperer, but for cats, and the host name is Jackson Galaxy, and he calls himself the Cat Daddy. It's incredible. And I was watching and I was like, man, I bet the show has the best Twitter account of all time, all these crazy cat people, and Jackson Galaxy, I looked it up, they didn't have a Twitter account, but now they do, because... <laughs> I made one. I made a Twitter account for My Cat From Hell. And I got like 15,000 followers because I played it straight. All I would tweet was like, check out the show, Sundays at 9, you know? <laughs> what was your favorite meowman from tonight's episode? <laughs> I did that for an entire year, like a psycho. And it was so believable that when people interviewed the host of the show, they'd tag my Twitter account. They'd be like, follow him here. And everybody did. And then a year in, I got drunk and I was like, let's burn this thing down, you know? <laughs> So, my first move was I tweeted out, hey, send in a picture of your cat and I'll give it a rating from one to 10. And I got thousands of cat pictures and I gave them all threes and people were so mad. I thought they might think it was funny, they did not. They were like, how dare you disrespect my cat and my family? And I was just like, hey, I'm sorry, your cat's a butter tail. I don't know what you want from me. I'm not attracted to your little kitty cat, you pervert. But I'd spell pervert, P-U-R-R-V-R-T. <laughs> Stay on brand. But what got me in trouble was people were asking me for cat advice all the time. And I didn't know anything about cats, but I started giving advice. And <laughs> a lot of it was like people going, hey, my cat scratches our faces every day. And I was like, you gotta change that cat's name, brother. Um, <laughs> The one that really got me in trouble though is this guy goes, hey, my cat keeps going to the bathroom next to the litter box, but he won't go inside, next to it. I don't know what to do. And I was like, look, cats are very observant, perceptive creatures. Sometimes they need to see you go in the litter box before they know what to do. And right before I got banned, I just saw one tweet from that dude that was like, this is not working. Uh, 
All right, I'm Tom Sikora. Thank you guys very much. Tuesday, October 19th. Hey, hey.